Hello there YouTube. Today I'm going to be opening up another one of my Cornell and Deal tins and giving you giving you guys my thoughts on it. Um, outside right now it looks like it's going to rain and the weather's been sort of overcast all day but doesn't say it's going to rain so I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to be trying some Cornell and Deal's Briar Fox. Um, I've heard some people say they love this, and I've heard some people say they don't like it. Um, so, I guess we'll see which crowd I'm going to be in. Um, like the um, Burly Flake, there is a slight bulge to the tin, and I just noticed this recently. So, there's that to be considered. Uh, the date says... January 31st, 2014. So, a little less than a year old. But let's see. See how this goes. Oh, I heard a little bit of a hiss. So, there's a little bit of pressure in there. Alright. There's that. Hmm. Alright, initially, it does have a sort of similar smell to the Burley Flake number three that sort of pre-hamster hamster cage but nowhere near as strong overtaken slightly by well quite a bit by a citrusy Virginia kind of smell and maybe a itty bitty bitty bit of um, some like bittersweet chocolate let's open this up and see what the actual tobacco looks like if I can get the little paper insert out um, I do love the Cornell and Deal packaging it is exactly what I, was ex I would expect from tobacco well it is how I would like most tobacco to be packaged so all right and it has the flaps and oh okay there it is um, it is a crumble cake, or so I've heard. It is sort of taking on a more of a brownie smell, uh, like a brownie with a little bit of citrus on it, as it's be as it's sitting open here. Um, there are actually two in here. There's one that's just like a cut off from the end of a plug. And one that is actually a whole entire intact plug. This will be my first ever in, um, intact plug that, other than the GLPs that Mr. Peanut sent me. So, what I'm thinking is slicing this into two or three slices. So yeah, that works perfectly. So there's still the big chunk in there, but yeah, I'm gonna chunk, chop this into um, two or three slices that way, um, and load it up into my Missouri Museum Legend, and see how it goes. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Hello there, folks. I'm back from trying my Cornell and Deal Briar Fox for the first time. Where's the there? There you go. In my legend. Um, first of all, this is a good, good tobacco. Of the Cornell and Deal stuff I've tried, this is probably one of the better ones I've had so far. Um, first thing I will say is that that sort of hamster cage smell um, goes away after about two minutes of the tin being opened and it settles down to a sort of a sweet Virginia with a little bit of top sugar on there and a little bit of chocolate. Um, the and, well, and about the little flake that I had that I used to pack it, I cut it up into two pieces. I then rubbed it out because this is actually I think coarse cut tobacco that's put into a cake so 
Um, it's not like some plugs where it's actually leaves pressed together. So, um, folding stuff I don't think would work really at all with this tobacco. I also didn't get all of the tobacco from that, that little piece that I had into the pipe. I got about three quarters of it and I packed it real firm. All right, so smoking qualities. Um, when you first light it, or at least when I first lit it, because I think I may have forgotten to change the filter in this, but okay. Um, it's a little bit on the harsh side, but that went away within a couple of puffs, so not a big concern. I think that might have just been a little bit from the filter. Um, it turns into a almost Carter Hall type taste with a little bit more Virginia in it. So, not really all that complicated, but it has a very, very pleasant, sweet and nutty and a little bit of dark chocolate taste to it. Very tasty. Uh, the smell, it was basically an unassuming tobacco, nothing special about it. I didn't get any weird looks, and I also didn't get any compliments on it, so. It was quite windy out there, and even when it was um, smoking almost constantly, I didn't really get any tongue bite from it. I removed the filter about halfway through, and that didn't really have much of an effect, other than increase the level of how much taste you get. Um, so, yeah, Cornell and the old Briar Fox. It's not exactly... Um, jump for joy, lots and lots of flavor, but it is really very pleasant, and I will most definitely be buying more once this tin has run out. Um, I'll let you guys know in a later video if my opinions have changed really at all. But other than that, yeah, so Briar Fox, if you haven't tried it, I'd recommend you get your hands on some. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.